decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of June. So get ready to be bored, cause this is Floon. Hello everybody, happy Friday, question mark? Bonk. I don't know what day of the week it is. Floon is currently double fisting it with some bread. He's got a grilled cheese in one hand and a bread roll in the other, and he's in a diaper and tennis shoes. And if that ain't the life, I don't know what is. Dada! Dada! So my parents left there just here for a day and it was nice to have them here but Flynn woke up this morning and they were gone and he sat up and he popped out his binky and he goes, my grandma! Dad, dad, dad. Yeah! What are you, where are you going? Bebe. Bebe. He sees himself in the mirror. Bebe. Do you see the bebe? I'm giving the baby kisses. Oh, that's so nice. So I am planning on doing a video where I test a bunch of weird um, cool products. I'm my sister now. I feel like during quarantine, all I can do is like test products because I can't go anywhere. So I have a bunch of tool, pool products. I think we might try some of them out today. I'm very excited. I can't really show them to you because I'm gonna show them for our video, but Flynn, look at this. What's that? Should we try that? You wanna try it? Okay, we'll open it up. Okay, gotta go. We played with a couple of water toys. It's very overwhelming. Each one is like an activity, so I think I'm gonna save the rest for another day. So we're just gonna go hang out in the pool now without all the craziness of exploding water toys. What's he doing? We are having story time, huh, Flynn? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Words are not for hurting. You know lots of words. Who listens when you talk? Do you see the kitty? What's the kitty say? Mama, mama. Yeah. Your family, your friends, your teachers, many people, and pets too. What does the doggy say? Wah. What's the doggy say? Wah. Wah, wah, wah. How do you use your words? You say your name and ask for help. You tell a story or sing a song. La, la, la. Some of your words are loud, wee! Some of your words are soft. Some of your words are kind, I love you. But some of them are not. Hey, go away, do you see the kitty? Words are not for hurting. Yeah, she's holding a dar dar, huh? What do hurtful words do? They hurt our ears, they hurt our feelings. Oh no. You can do this instead. Think before you speak and keep hurtful words to yourself. If the words come out before you can stop them, <gasps> uh oh. Two other words need to be said. I'm sorry. Those two words can be a big help. Words are not for hurting, words are for helping. The end. Mama? You want it again? Can you say please? Good boy. It's a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, it's a squirrel. Words are not for hurting, words are for helping. The end. You want it again? Look what's on his diaper. Can you see? Can you see? The cat hair dangling from his diaper. I blame this fluffy mess. So a few days ago I let Flynn post stickers and you guys know I don't like stickers. They're like my worst nightmare. And now he's obsessed. And that just shows how much I love my son because I bought him more stickers. I bought stickers. But he's obsessed. He loves playing with stickers. He got some dardar ones. Let's show them. See his dardar. You want to get the dardar off? You want the tractor? Good boy. He literally slept with a tractor sticker in his hand, or an excavator. It was in his hand. <sighs> he loves stickers. Which one? The plane? 
Not the papa. But sometimes the stickers end up on the floor, which is like not something I enjoy. Good job. Like this kid jumps off the walls. Like he's constant 100% of the time, running around, playing with cars, running, running into things, jumping on things, like so much energy. And this is the one thing that he'll play with that he'll just sit and play with quietly. And it happens to be like my number one fear. <laughs> I hate stickers. Yeah. When there's a horsey, what's the horsey say? <coughs> yeah, nay. Can you put the horsey on? Doesn't care about the animal ones. He only wants the car ones. Good job. He's so cute. He'll like inspect it. He'll get, it takes him a while to get the sticker off the sheet. And then he just wants to stare at it and feel the sticky part and like look at it, inspect it. And then he takes them all to figure out how to get it onto the paper. And it's just, it's so cute. I still hate stickers though, I think they're disgusting. You got a sticker? Wanna show daddy your stickers? Oh. Oh. You just wanted a cuddle? That was so sweet. Hi baby. You want some water? I love you. Why'd you do that? That was so nice. Thank you for my cuddles. Oh, water. We've decided on chili for dinner tonight, and there's a fly in here. You didn't. Where did it go? We keep getting flies. Oh my god, there's two. Okay, I gotta get these flies. Okay. Very messy love, but just let me do it. No, don't do it. Dang it, love. That you was got me. You so got me scared. Weak. You got me scared. You got me scared. You should just let me do it. Where you go? Now I can watch the fly. Yeah, Flynn. I watch the fly. Just listen. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Here we go. I hate flies. We decided to make chili. We're trying to make chili in the crock pot. I've never done that before. I feel like this is gonna be a disaster. Flynn's watching a video of himself. It's his favorite thing to watch. And uh, that's the tea. That's what we're up to in this household right now. I look like a mess. You sweeping? You cleaning up? Thanks for cleaning, Flynn. That's very nice of you. Good job, baby. <laughs> up the house. Good boy. <laughs> wow, so strong. You helping sweep up? You're such a good helper. Wow, so impressed. I love him so much. We never taught him like how to sweep or use a dustpan. It's just he sees, not me, but he's seen Eric doing it and my dad doing it. And so he's like, oh, this is how this works. He always surprises me with that kind of stuff. <gasps> the fly's on my straw. The fly's on my straw. Gotta get it. Here. Oh no. Flynn's gotta get out of the way of fire. Flynn, go get your broom. No, not this way. That's gonna go. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Oh god. Oh. Did you get it? I don't know if I even filmed that because I was too stressed. I don't know, I feel like we'd see a dead fly somewhere. These flies in our house are driving me crazy. Anyway, Flynn's so cute is what I was saying and that he's so smart and the best. Are you gonna pick up the trash? <laughs> That's not how that works, but okay. He's wearing a new shirt uh, that says RAR. A while ago I had ordered a bunch of baby clothes and baby stuff from some black owned businesses and I got some of it today, I'm really excited. So I got the shirt he's wearing, which is a little Lion that says raw. And let's show them the other ones, Flynn. You wanna show them the other ones we got? I think it's called Yeeny Baby or Yeeny, I don't know. Yeeny Beeny? Yeeny Beeny Baby? But the cutest handmade clothes and accessories for little ones. And I got this shirt that's raining cats and dogs. How cute is that? And the shirts are really soft, really good quality. This one, and I love this one. Cause it's accurate. So I thought these were so cute. So if you guys want to support a black owned small business, I think it's out of uh, DC. Um, these are really soft and really cute. And I love them. They got here fast and they seem really well made. So yeah, uh, go check them out if you want some cute baby clothes. 
It's much later in the night, it is midnight, and we made chili and it was disgusting. It wasn't disgusting, it just was like terrifying because I didn't read any instructions. I was just like, ah, throw everything in the crock pot like I always do and it'll work out. But then, come on girl, get it together. So I did something you're not supposed to do apparently. I put ground beef like straight into the crock pot with like all the other ingredients and I guess you're supposed to like cook the ground beef on a frying pan first and then put it into the crock pot. And all the reviews, everything I read online was like do not just put the raw meat in, like you have to cook it first. So it was like scary eating the chili because I was like is this done? Like am I eating raw meat? It wasn't, it was cooked but it was just like in the back of my mind of like, I don't know, I was just like kind of freaking out. Today was a good long day I you know tried to educate myself as much as I could online I feel like there's so much information to learn about the Black Lives Matter movement and every day there's a new person to research or a new cause to fight for or you know what I mean like there's something new every day that I'm like oh my god I never knew that I was never taught about that I never understood that and so it's kind of overwhelming. I don't know, it's just like, uh, there's a lot of information to take in and a lot to process and I'm learning and I'm trying to grow and educate myself. But it was cool to get uh, the shirts today from that company that I had ordered from. I ordered a bunch of stuff from different small um, black owned businesses and that's a great way that you can support uh, the black community right now and, and forever. So I highly encourage you to do that. And right now I'm about to start editing the video I wanna post tomorrow. I hope I can get it done tonight. Corey already did a bunch of the editing but I get really nitpicky with it now. So this could be an hour of editing but it could also be four hours of editing. I don't really know how much I'm gonna wanna be nitpicky with this one. Oh, I guess it'll be up hopefully by the time this vlog comes up. So hopefully you'll have already seen it. I've learned a lot about myself, I guess, this week in filming that video and just things that have happened. In the video, I like cleaned out my whole Miranda closet, which is a huge closet full of stuff, and I went through hundreds and hundreds of letters. It made me really emotional to read them because I was shocked that people felt nice things about me. So when I read them, I was like, I was shocked by what I was reading, that people were saying such kind things. Then in my mind, I went through this whole thing of like, well, why am I shocked? Why is it making me cry to read nice things about me? Why would I cry seeing someone say something nice? I realized, oh, like, I don't know that I think anyone thinks this stuff about me online. So that's why it was shocking and that's why it took me by surprise and it brought me to tears because I felt like I didn't deserve anyone to say those words about me who watches me on the internet. And I know this sounds really dramatic and I know it sounds really woe is me and mm, no one likes me. Like, and that's not how I'm trying to come across. I'm just telling you like what my thought process was as I was going through this stuff in my closet. I have focused on the hate more than the positive feedback I've received, which I feel like is a universal feeling like as human beings people can tell you how wonderful you are all day but if one person says something negative about you you'll remember that one negative comment for the rest of your life i feel like i can remember so many specific mean things that people said to me in high school but i can't remember a single compliment i received in high school and that was how many years ago but i can i literally can remember walking down state street and this one boy i won't say his name told me that i was getting fatter i remember walking i was 16 like i remember that not that there's anything wrong with being bigger there's nothing wrong with that but he was not saying it in a kind way he was saying it in a rude way and I remember specifically my sophomore year sitting in the theater wearing a shirt that was like fuzzy <laughs> these two boys making fun of me saying it looked like AstroTurf and saying my chest was so flat that they could play football on it because I was wearing an AstroTurf shirt and I had no boobs like I remember sp like every specific negative thing anyone has said to me in person not that I'm like still crying about them or they actually hurt my feelings now but they stuck out and I don't I couldn't tell you a single compliment anyone gave me in high school the internet has never worked for me that way until recently. So I think it's my fault. Like I have kind of let the hate that I've received in the last year, like really consume me and overwhelm me and haven't focused on any of the positivity to the point where I just assumed 
anyone who watched my videos was like looking for a reason to hate me. Maybe not everyone already hates me who watches my videos, but if they don't already hate me, they're looking for a reason to hate me. Somehow that's where my mind and heart had ended up and I didn't even realize it. And so reading those letters and seeing people say like nice things made me go like, oh my God, and um, made me feel really humbled and overwhelmed and grateful. Anyway, the combination of that and then I got to Skype with a girl at the children's hospital yesterday um, who's 12 years old and um, she has cancer and I've gotten to meet a lot of awesome kids um, because of the work that we all do together every year to raise money for kids with cancer. I got an email from her mom today that was just so sweet and she said that since her daughter's been in the hospital she has spent so many hours wrapped in a blanket and smiling watching my videos and my vlogs with my family and laughing and smiling and um, I'm just filming my daily life doing nothing making bread and making whipped coffee and um, teaching my son how to count using cotton balls and stickers <laughs> and it's very overwhelming to know that my videos could do that for somebody because I don't think of it that way I just I'm just filming my life and having fun yesterday in my vlog I was talking about this awesome girl that I had um, talked to at the children's hospital and how much she inspired me and how much like I just thought she was so incredible she made me so happy and then to get an email today from her mom saying that like I did something for her I just hope that I'm now on whenever I read cruel things online I hope to remember her mother's words that like I'm not doing this for those people who are seeing those cruel things I want to keep filming my life and filming silly videos and trying to make people laugh for people like her that's who it's for and I guess what it all boils down to is like I have realized this week that the majority of you watching are so wonderful and inspire me so much and I feel so grateful for you I love sharing my life with you and I, I love sharing my world with you I've done it for over a decade and I hope I get to do it for a really long time it makes me happy and it makes me even more happy and humbled and emotional that it makes some of you happy um, during dark times. Oh man, I just hope y'all are staying safe and staying happy in any way that you can. And um, I feel very lucky to have you guys and to have this job. So thank you very much. I love you. Good night. Mm -hmm.